The one three one defense, obviously, and I'll show you where our personnel starts. We put our four man at the top. We love an athletic, long, six six, six seven player. Sometimes you can be six eight. But what he's really trying to do, we're trying to point a pickup is right at the half court line. We want to put our, our big, our five man, which on the three point line, depending on where the ball is, but probably a step above the free throw line. And so our center is always trying to stay between the ball and the rim. Okay. We'd like to play our, probably our most athletic wing player. Usually he's our small forward. Sometimes it's been our point guard because we had a kid named Bruce Massey who was defensive player of the year in our league. He was our most athletic and our toughest guy, and he was great down there too. And then we'll put our wing players here and right here in the 1-3-1 zone. So what it is is that we'll just say that the offense is coming across. Obviously, we'll say just for positioning that the, the defense – is in a 1-3-1 and the offense is in this area right here, okay? Sometimes they will try to flash into the middle of the zone. But what we're really trying to do is our wing players are really trying to force going out and up, out and up. It's an aggressive defense to where we're really trying to extend our 1-3-1 and if we can get good traps early in the possession, especially on makes, is really trying to sprint back to our 1-3-1 and be aggressive with our wing players. The five man's rule, obviously, is he's trying to stay between the ball and the rim. With the ball on the right side, the three man we try to say is almost have a foot in and foot out and playing over the top of screens. The one man it depends on exactly where the other offensive player is. His responsibility, like in all one three ones, he can't give up the diagonal pass there. But he can extend himself out, kind of depending on how good the trap is uh, in the half court area and exactly where the offensive players are located on the weak side. So in the one three one defense, the ball is really being tried to, to be trapped high and wide. The three man is a foot in and foot out. Five man really has to be active. If you're five, he can't have hands down. He's got to make the court look full. So he's really got to be extended just with his hands up all the time. The passes we're trying to create are lob passes over the top. Straight line passes kill the one three one like a lot of ball reversals do uh, in any defenses. So what the four man is trying to do is he is trying to create a ball to be lobbed over the top here. And a good friend of mine, Seth Greenberg, he played the one three one a lot when I was at Utah State and he was at Long Beach. He came to one of our practices two or three years ago. He says, Kermit, I don't really think your wings are getting out and up enough. It was a great point that really helped us. So as the ball is being lobbed off over the four, the five is obviously just trying to get between the ball and the rim. And the offside wing is going out and up, out and up. Because what he's trying to do, his angle, is he's going out trying to get the other uh, perimeter player, offensive player, uh, behind his back. Because again, we're trying to force balls lobbed over the top. So the four will take maybe one depth, but he's coming hard. And again, he can't let straight line passes guard to guard. Now, the one thing that we try to do is that you get really good guards that come down and all of a sudden really try to split here. That's when that five man is here and he's going to absolutely attack the ball. And it's almost a triple team at times, but he's going to attack the ball until the ball gets under control. And when this ball gets under control that he can step back, we're trying to push up the trap here. Obviously the three man is playing over the top of any screen that he can. If you start getting underneath the screeners and try to go on the baseline side, then you'll be in a lot of trouble. They'll screen you in for skips and corner threes right there. So again, we're going out and up on the wings, great high hands. You'll see it in the practice session that we had today. Middle man here, obviously the two man is going to drop deep. Where's the position he has to be? We'll say the offside offensive player is really putting really hard pressure on the rim. 
and our trap is not great here, and we really think he can throw a direct line pass right there, the two may have to be a little deeper. But that's why that we say the five-man is so important to have high hands, almost have your thumbs uh, within your shoulders up high to make lob passes here, lob pass here, and a lob pass guard to guard.